Hi, I'm riding with Russ. <laughs> Welcome to Wales. This is my motor vlog. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So, hey guys. Big Ben motor vlog here. How is everybody doing? As you can probably tell, everything's now a little bit louder because I have my baffle back out. <laughs> Didn't last long. Did not last long. And anybody want, that wanted to see a picture of the baff, the modified baffle, uh, here it is. As you can see, I just cut the end off and pretty much made a leg out. The reason why I took it out is not because really I was missing anything. It was really just due to the exhaust, no, the, the exhaust, what am I on about? The baffle, I'm sure, was making a ticking noise. Because obviously the air was probably escaping around it, around it and things like that, and it just, I don't know. It made me think my engine had a tick. That's why I was just double, triple checking everything. It's like, no, it's, it's not, no, the fitting's fine, you know, I fitted plenty of exhausts. It's not to do with that. Uh, it must be to do with the baffle, it's got to, so taking it out, and yeah, no engine tick, or no uh, no tick that I can hear of anyway. But uh, today, I'm with Russell on his uh, MT09 Tracer. Uh, we're just going somewhere slightly different, uh, going up to, at the moment, we are in uh, Astra Gunlight, and we are heading pretty much up towards, uh, there's a there's a reservoir bit, there's a road that goes past the reservoir. Uh, if you know where Dan Rogoff Caves is, it's roughly around here. Um, and pretty much we're going that way. And heading Brecon way, I think we're going into Brecon and then back out. So uh, something different today because I've actually, my car test was supposed to be tomorrow. So that's kind of why I got the Saturday, uh, the Sunday and the Monday off. Mainly because I was supposed to have my car test tomorrow and obviously uh, just doing some extra bits today but it was easier just to leave my days off as it was because something's gone wrong with the instructor's car uh, so it's had to be had to uh, postpone it just for a little bit longer but I don't mind because I'm back on the bike if I was not on the bike I think I would be like on edge <laughs> but because I'm back on the bike I don't mind waiting that little bit longer for the uh, for the car but I'm doing good bikes finally gone past 3,000 miles finally it's been like what since august august september october november december january february march first of april would have been eight months crazy eight months the first of april was i've had the bike and i've i done 3,000 miles which wasn't much it wasn't much at all yeah so i haven't been up this way before so uh, I've been down it, but I haven't been up it. But you can see by how awesome everything looks, you know. It doesn't look stunning, you know. It's just massive open landscapes. Me going on a third, I think that'd be best. Open landscapes. remember the sheep here you know, running in the middle of the road I was I was just, it was in the middle of the road wasn't it when I came around the corner <laughs> I remember that that was funny surprise motherfucker <laughs> stupid sheep I love to live there can you imagine living there and just waking up to that awesome view Every morning, oh, love it. Anyway, this is gonna open up quite nicely, you know. Nice. I thought that was 
was literally like a little path going all the way up. There's a little wall in the middle. <laughs> Although there was a path, oh my Christ. Some silly people going up there. <laughs> I don't think I've been over this on my MT-09. I don't think I have. I don't remember anyway. Whoa! A little bit of uh, weightlessness then. <laughs> weightlessness then. Can't talk. Jesus. Falls. It's very cool. Wow. A low uh, cloud cover over that way. <laughs> it's strange that you always go one way along a particular road. You go the opposite way, and it looks totally different. It's like I'm, looks like I've never been here before, but I think I've been here, what, five or six times maybe? But always up this way instead of down like we're going now. Single track roads can be a bit, uh, bit of like an old Christ moment, especially if it's wet. Especially if it's wet. Oh, it's got a lot of grit. It's got a lot of grit. So welcome back. So this is supposed to be quite a good road uh, up near Breckenway. So we came from Landovery, uh, come through some roads. Don't ask me where. I think, I think one of them it looked like Hilu or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a good road leading up to Breckenway. So uh, he said it got up and down, quite twisty. So we'll see what it's like. <laughs> it's 
It's your boy. stuck behind him. Oh no. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be stuck behind him. But uh, yeah, been along some uh, really good roads today. I have to say, some really, really good roads. Surprise corner! <laughs> Rally cars, the rally stage. <laughs> That's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. <laughs> That's gonna be great. I'll put that right to the beginning. <laughs> Doesn't smell too fresh, Jesus Christ, the mighty man. <laughs> <laughs> 